Hey you guys, welcome to the redesign with Prima Group. Um, my name is Leah and I'm the owner of Leah Noel Design Co. and a brand ambassador here at Redesign with Prima. And I come live every Tuesday at noon to just kind of um, show you guys something fun to do with Prima products and some paint and all the good things. So today I'm actually painting my shoes. Kind of excited about it. Um, because my sister, my sister dropped off a pair of shoes in like the like fall and asked me to paint them and I haven't gotten to it yet. So I'm getting to it today. She actually dropped off an old pair of shoes and I went and bought a new pair of shoes. So as you guys are, as you guys come on, say hello. Um, this is, this pair I've already painted right here. Okay. I've put a base coat on it. So we're going to be working on these today. Um, they're dry. I did them last night, but I'm going to show you how to paint them right now. And um, I have a clean pair here that haven't been painted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to paint these. I'm going to like do a ombre, a three a three colored ombre design on these, and then we'll move into the other ones. And I want to use um, I want to try to use the stick and style stencil on it, and I may use some transfers. I have a lemon dress I ordered from Amazon, and so I have an in person class in Kansas City on Saturday. And I want to wear that lemon dress and I want to wear my painted shoes because <laughs> they'll be comfortable. So if you don't know where to buy like just plain white shoes, I buy these at Discovery Clothing. They're $10, super cheap. Um, so Discovery is a great place. Walmart has a couple pairs. Uh, I, I bought these at Target. I think they were $17 though. So I prefer to get them at Discovery. So, um, so yeah, so just to, like, I just like to buy like a $10 pair of shoes and then I paint them and make them look really, really cool. So I'm just going to go ahead and bend this camera a little and we're going to work right here and I'm going to show you how to paint them. If you guys are here, please say hi. I don't see any comments yet. Um, sometimes my comments weren't working yesterday, so I'm hoping they're going to work today. All right. So can you guys see Okay. Turn that down a little. All right. So I'm going to start with, um, these are the three colors I'm going to use. For this pair, it's going to be different than that pair. I'm going to use these three colors. Actually, I'm going to use these three colors. I'm going to use mermaid tail. This is mermaid tail. This is daisy. And this is cotton. Um, I may use kernel mustard, but basically I'm just using a white, a yellow, and a teal. And then I'm going to go over it with the folk art transfer. Oh, hi. I can see. I can see. <gasps> hi, Sue from Florida. I'm going to use this folk art transfer. And if you guys have followed my lives here, I used, um, I used the majority of this transfer on an apron that I did a giveaway with. And so if you see here, I'm going to use the leftover on here and kind of do the same style I did on that apron. I also pulled out the Tropical Paradise transfer, this one. Um, which has been one of my favorites, just kind of for some decor things. Oh, we can see comments. Awesome. Sue just painted three pairs of shoes. Callie says it's interesting. It is interesting. It's totally, you know, last year I painted a pair of shoes. I just threw them away. Um, I had painted a pair with some of my, some of my friends in Atlanta City, Atlanta City. And, um, in Atlanta, I don't think it's called Atlanta City. And they lasted all summer and I wore them for work a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and just get started painting these. Maybe I'll come up here so you guys can see. All right. So I'm going to start with, hmm, I think I'm going to go with the white towards the tip since the, the white here, there's like white in here and we're going to ombre it back. So well, you know what? I'm going to start in the middle with the teal. So I'm going to start, this color is mermaid tail. This is from Dixie Belle. Dixie Belle is really good paint for painting your shoes and such. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just, I'm going to use the kernel mustard. So I have a teal and a yellow, kind of, they're kind of bright. And then I have cotton, which is just a really pure white. I'm just going to set these aside. So I have mermaid tail, kernel mustard, and cotton. And I'm really not going to need a lot of paint. So I, I like to use my um, chalk painting brushes like these, like some stiffer bristled brushes. These are, um, I actually with these, these I used last night, so I, I, most of my brushes are dirty. So I will be using my synthetic ones. But I do prefer these for them because it just makes it a little easier. 
So I'm just going to mist my brush. I'm going to actually save that one to blend with a little more. I'm going to use this one. And I'm just going to, I'm going to um, mist my shoe. So I want to get my shoe kind of wet. Not soaking wet, but this opens up the pores in the fabric. So that the paint will actually adhere. And it just wipes right off of the rubber part. Okay, so they're a little bit wet. I'm actually gonna um, take a shop towel. I, they're a little bit too wet, so I'm just gonna take some of the water off. Just, I just want them damp. I did flamingos, cacti, and sunflowers. Ooh, I like that. I did um, succulents. In fact, I was with Tracy's Fancy when I was in Atlanta, and she drew the succulents out for me, and they turned out so cute. Um, I don't draw, so I really appreciate when someone will do it for me or like just having like transfers and stencils because it just makes it easier. It allows me to be artistic without having to be artistic. So I'm going to start with my teal. This is mermaid tail and I'm just going to start brushing it on. I'm going to go all the way up the tongue of the shoe. And you can kind of see it's kind it's absorbing it. Hi Joan, hi Sherry. The paint is like a it's just like a dye. It absorbs really really nicely. Which I'll be able to show you the dry pair here in a minute. And I'm gonna go ahead and get this one while we're here. It's fabric, so I really don't have to worry about it drying like too fast. I wanna do a little blending with it. I'm just gonna blend. I find it easier to blend on fabric than I do on furniture. <laughs> For some reason, I've been doing, I did that apron, and then um, these shoes, the canvas, it's just, it seems like it's easier to blend on it. So I'm just spraying it on and then I'm just going to dab some of this water off. I don't want it too wet. Yeah, it's totally just like watercolor Sue. Absolutely. Especially on the fabric. Okay. Make sure you guys can see. I really like this um, color blend. The yellow for for like especially for um, for like wear like things that I like to wear. I like the teal, the yellow, and the white a lot. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm gonna wipe my brush off. I'm gonna try and use the same brush. Um, the the teal, the mermaid tail, and the kernel mustard kind of create like a like a pretty green. So I'm just gonna wipe it off as much as I can. Mist my brush again and go on with curdle mustard. We might use a little water, we might not. So I'm just going to go ahead and go on. And I'm going to use a little water to encourage the blending of the colors. I'm just gonna kind of pull it, pull it up a little bit. Just let these blend in. Look at that green, it's making like a pretty green. I'll wipe my brush off. And look at that, look at that soft blend.
I'm gonna add just a little bit of um, just a little bit of this kernel mustard right here. See how much easier that is? Hey, Joan. Hi, Anu. Oh, I should have locked the door. My daughter's on her way out. I can hear her. <laughs> Someone's coming to say hi. Hey, I'm live right now. Oh, yes, I'll, I'll come in in a little bit. Okay. Thank you. I want those shoes. We'll paint you a pair. Okay. All right. So you can see we have, we have a nice pretty color going. And then that front part, I'm just going to do white. Um, hi Hannah. Hi Lisa. So I'm just going to get this one right here and then we'll go in and we'll, we'll put the white on and then we're going to add, we're going to, um, I'm going to see which ones will work. I don't know if I'm going to use the stick and style stencil or the transfers. Um, I tried to stick the stick and style stencils on. I'm not a hundred percent sure if they're going to work, but they should. They should. We'll see. Otherwise, we're going to just use the transfers. Okay, I'm just I'm going to take a second and just wipe my brush off. Um, if your colors are starting to get a little muddy, usually it's because your brush is dirty so or it has too much paint on it. Um, so I just like to wipe it off as I go. A little more water. And I'm just gonna kinda ombre that. I'm just gonna add a little yellow to this tip to make it just look really cool. Okay, and um, so if I was just, one of the reasons I want to paint this, I want to use the, um, the cotton is because I want to keep the same consistency throughout the whole shoe. Um, and, uh, also if I'm going to rub, if I'm going to put a transfer on fabric, I need a base coat. So if you're putting any kind of transfer on fabric, you need a base coat. Say I just wanted to keep them white. You can just paint, um, put Mod Podge for fabric on them um and that will work as a base coat too so it's totally up to you but if you're going to stick a transfer or like stencils on them you just need something for the well really just transfers not so much the stencil you could send you could probably stencil just right on the fabric um but the paint just kind of creates a good barrier for for the transfer to stick to not barrier um base coat Okay, so I'm just going to mist this with water just to kind of get my blend going. They look really cool. <laughs> I like them. I'm just kind of dry brushing a little bit of this cotton. And that's just kind of bringing all my colors together. All right, let me show you the difference after the cotton. And I'll just go back after. So this is with the cotton. It's a little more blended and this is without. So let's go ahead um, and finish it up. And then we'll get to putting some stencils on them. Well, these have to dry. We're gonna put stencils and transfers on the other one. On the other pair I have, the pair I prepped last night. I don't really know if you could put them on the rubber part. I don't know if they would stay. Um, I was just thinking about that. It would be cool if you could. I don't know if it'll stay. Um, the first step is just to spray them with water, just to get the fibers of the fabric open. The paint works as a stain. So this is Dixie Belle paint. I did link it above, and it works as like, not just like a dye. It works as a dye. And then once these are dry, we're gonna work on them. I have a dry pair. So 
Um, so all we did so far is we misted them with water and we painted them. And you can paint them any way you want. If you, I would tell you if you want to try it ombre, canvas is the easiest way to do it. Like on the shoe canvas, it's just, it felt so much easier to blend on here. Look at, isn't that cute? Okay, let's put these down. All right, so let me just move these out of the way. And we're gonna move to the, um, the second process. So our shoes are dry. Not really, we're just gonna grab a new pair. Let me throw these in the water, okay? Okay, so, um, so this pair I did last night, you can see this color is look up, uh, Rebel Yellow. This is Rebel Yellow with cotton, okay? You're welcome, Bar Bobby. Um, okay, so now that they're dry, I just am gonna take a little bit of two, um, 220 grit sandpaper and I'm just gonna, um, I'm just gonna scuff them up. I like to do this just because it kind of softens the paint a little bit. own Kathleen I'm gonna bring you guys in close okay I'm right I'm hung up I'm directly under my shop light there that's is that better I don't know if there's Hang on, let me move. You guys might see my dirty floor, but let me move this way because I'm directly under my um, my LED light. Okay. That's a little better, I think. Okay. So here's the shoes. Um, I'm gonna try to use the stick and style. My plan is to use the stick and style with the eternal decor wax. So the eternal decor wax is super durable. Um, the redesign with Prima ones, these ones we talked about them last week, these are really, really durable. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to get the stick and style stencil to mm -hmm. stick. This one is Casablanca. Um, and that's kind of all I want is this on here. And we could also rub transfers. That's, that is my plan B. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut this. I don't really want like a consistent pattern. I kind of want it to be a little random. And let's see. I'm going to try this on the heel first. Let's just do this on the heel and see how it works because then we could always do transfers on the front. Okay. 
So I'm just sticking that on like this. And I'm gonna go ahead and take just a, um, an artist brush. And I'm just gonna go on with the decor wax. So we have this on, let's see if it's gonna work. Let's see. I know it will stay. It'll be permanent. Just, it's working really well. The stencil is. Ooh, perfect. Look at that. Let me see. Get the lighting. Look at that. Wow, I'm so excited it worked. Look at so that's with just the eternal decor wax. How simple is that? Okay, so now I'm gonna kind of I'm gonna keep going with it. Sometimes you get like the a little bit underneath it, so I'm just gonna grab a new piece. Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna kind of come around, I think. Okay. I'm gonna come at an angle, cause I don't want this to be um, I don't want it to be super like, I don't want it to be super clean. So I'm going to start here. So if you guys are coming to Kansas City, um, I'm gonna be, if you guys are in Kansas City, I'm gonna be doing an in-person class there with Anissa from This and That. This Saturday uh, from noon to four, we have four tickets left. And um, I'm gonna, I think I might be wearing these shoes, <laughs> maybe. All right, I'm just gonna kind of let this fall how it may. Um, what I'm liking about this is that it's not a hard stencil, it's a soft stencil. So even though it's not sticking well to the shoe, which would make it easier, um, I mean, it's very flexible. So it's just kind of being used like a stencil. And I would call myself pretty new to stenciling. Um, I've only been, I've only done a couple. Um, I've done a couple like in the last year, I, I haven't done too many. Um, so you can imagine how easy this is to use. Wow, I love it. So there are a lot of stick and style stencils you could choose from. Uh-oh. Let me replace it. Um, 
Um, the Casablanca just kind of happens to be my favorite. These are also really good for drawer sides and jewelry boxes, these smaller ones. Okay, look at that. Let's see if I can. See how cool that is? And I'm gonna take a baby wipe right now um, to clean this edge because this is this is the eternal decor wax. This the wax will stay like on this rubber here. It's already like permanent on there. So I'm gonna just try and wipe it back the best I can. If I can't get it back with this, well, I'm I'm able to do it, but I'm I'm having to scratch it a little bit. So you can imagine how permanent it's going to be once it dries on the actual fabric. Um, I will seal this with this stuff here. This is Easy Peasy Spray Wax. That's what I used on my last pair, and they lasted, um, the paint lasted longer than the shoes did. Like, the shoes were worn out, and the paint still looked good. I'm going to just reuse this stencil here, because I didn't get too much. Oh, maybe I did get a little on the back. I'm gonna go ahead and just grab a new piece um, because I don't want that back staining to kind of affect what I have here. And since I'm not, I'm kind of, I'm not going over that edge. I'm just gonna cut a piece like this, and I'm gonna stick it down. Um, Kathleen, can these be washed? So, I I wouldn't. I think, I mean, my other ones, I stepped in, you know, rain puddles and everything in. They were really, my other pair that I painted were my shop shoes, and they held up really well. I, I don't know that I'd throw these in the washing machine. Um, what I do know is that Brooke, she's a redesign ambassador as well. She did a... Um, she did an apron and she used the stick and style stencil on it with the eternal decor wax and she did put it in the washing machine and the eternal decor wax, which is what I'm using here. It did hold up. It did hold up for her, um, for her apron, which is the same fabric as the shoes. Personally, I don't know that I would throw the shoes in the washing machine. So cute. Ooh, this would be really cool with the cheetah print um, stick and style one or the cheetah print transfer. This would be really cool. All right, I'm gonna see if I have a piece I could just cut from here. Let's just cut this one. All about getting as much mileage as I can out of my, out of my stuff. I wanna be able to like use it as many times as I can. Yes, if I use the transfer, um, if I use the transfer, I would actually seal it with Mod Podge for fabric. I would seal it with this. So the, yeah, the transfer would be just a little bit different. Um, I would just seal it with Mod Podge for fabric. These I'm gonna use the spray wax.
but I'm gonna let these cure for a couple days before I spray them. Probably just a day actually, because I have to pack them and I'm leaving tomorrow. All right, so I have one spot right here that I need to get and I'm just gonna, um, I'm gonna just use this right here. And you see how I'm just kind of piecing this together? It's, it's very random. Let's just get this eternal wax off of this um, rubber here before it sets in forever. Stacy, I'm driving. I'm driving. I'm um, I painted I painted a buffet for Anissa, so I have to bring that down. Um, and I also am bringing down the piece that I'm doing. So for the tongue here, I think I'm just gonna I'm gonna grab this here, and I'm gonna cut it down again. So I want to show you how many pieces I actually use. So I use that. I use this. This, and I can let these dry. Right, because like this is the back. So do you see what I mean? There's some like excess on here. So um, as I'm like looking at it, I can use these again on the other shoe. All right. I'm just going to set it in like this. And I'm just gonna do the part that shows. Okay, good, good enough. Um, another thing I can do and I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna just touch these, um, I'm gonna do it with my finger. I'm just gonna touch the, the shoelace things with gold just to make them consistent. And they, they'll hold up just like it does on your hardware, on your furniture. Look at that. Aren't those cute? I'm loving it. So this was the before. Okay. And then this is the, this is the after. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this camera up. So, the, okay, so right here, this is how much of the stick and style stencil we used. So not even too much. Um, a lot comes on these rolls. Look at that. I've, I've used this on furniture before. This is, one roll is 15 yards. Let me just pull this up so I have just a little bit better lighting. And I can show you the final product. All right, so if you're just hopping on, we painted shoes today. We actually did um, a paint. We did like paint. We like painted the shoes and we used the stick and style. So this is, this is it painted. It's dry. And then this is it with the stick and style stencil. I'm going to let this eternal wax probably dry. I'm going to just stick it under a fan and, and I'm hoping to get a pic. I'll, I'll get a picture of them tomorrow. And then these are the ones we painted. Um, we painted in the beginning. I showed you guys how to actually paint the shoes and these I'm going to rub a transfer on, but they have to dry. So I'm going to just stick these under a fan too. Um, and then I'm just going to rub a transfer on them. If you guys are curious, I did do a video on how to rub a transfer. It's on the, it's, it's in my live section. Um, if you're on my page or if you're like on the redesign with Prima page, um, just check the live section. I showed how to rub a transfer on on an apron. Um, so that's there for you. But I hope you guys, um, I hope this inspires you to paint your shoes. Like I said, you can get shoes at Target. Uh, these I got at Target. 
Um, Discovery Clothing has the best like $10 Converse shoes. And um, Walmart also has really good shoes that you could just pick up. So I hope that was helpful. I use Dixie Belle paint. I did put a link above. Um, I use the Dixie Belle paint because it works like a dye. And then after it was painted, as I did in this video, um, this stuff is actually optional, but I like it because it softens the shoe up. Um, I just used 220 sandpaper once it was dry and I rubbed it over and it made it really smooth. So I actually kind of like them just like this too, like without the stencil, but I think the stencil makes them really, really, really cute. So, and that stencil doesn't, it looks good. There's not, we were, of course we were cautious for like the bleed through, but um, they came out really cute. Can you even tell that we just like, we totally patchworked that, um, the stick and style together? You, you can't even tell. It just is really pretty. So I'm excited to wear them. I will get a picture for you guys. All right, everybody. Thank you for joining me this week. I will be back again next Tuesday um, with some other fun things. I don't know what we're going to be doing yet, but um, it's going to be it's going to be super fun, I'm sure. So, all right, everybody. Have a fantastic Tuesday, and I'll see you next week. Bye bye.